Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Uh, please bear with me. I am uh, recovering from being sick so uh, just hang in there as I go through this. Uh, stuck energy and the vast universe energy with spirit so someone's gaining some uh, understanding here okay of what has actually happened someone's also feeling overwhelmed but unsettled at the same time uh, at the possibility of what could have happened and what they allowed to happen so not really happy with uh, the outcome of this at this moment uh, we will be together again. I want to feel that way again. Someone's definitely uh, wanting things to come back full circle. Very uncomfortable with where things stand at the moment. Judgment card for the overall energy. This is about uh, making decisions, but rebirth here. Okay, so we have a situation where uh, something's coming back around. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have the moon, the six of wands, and the ace of cups. So I see that things didn't turn out how you had hoped either. And I see that there is something happening here behind the scenes with the moon card. Okay, ace of cups. You get this feeling this week in the six of wands uh, that something's brewing. Something's finally turning around or in a different direction. You start to feel more positive, almost this excitement as well about something coming your way. So uh, pay attention to these signs, okay, and these synchronicities that will show you as the universe kind of pushes some knowledge towards you here okay there's change on the horizon this week that's going to start to make you feel uh impassioned as well as overjoyed so we have five of cups king of pentacles and the three of wands for their energy yes they have been very devastated here they deeply regret and have uh you know, been suffering with the knowledge of what they've done here. There's a sense of loss and uh, feeling like they really didn't like how things turned out, but they can only blame themselves. Uh, this person's been longing for you from afar, some of them paying attention uh, to their dreams as well, but also uh, keeping an eye on you for some of them, okay? Definitely watching you. Tell the Three of Wands. There could be distance between you two. Uh, emotionally or physically you know we have the death card death ten of pentacles this person's kind of asking themselves is this the end the more that they long for you or they're watching over you they kind of feel like you know gosh i should have uh, paid attention to what i was doing when i had them in my life and so there is some suffering here with the king of pentacles they are craving more they're craving uh something different now than they ever did in the past and the stuck energy uh, that I'm feeling here is due to them uh, not making a decision, you know, kind of living in a sense of lack uh, in this connection, not really embracing it for what it truly is. The world card with the five of cups. Yeah, this person's very devastated right now emotionally. Uh, they're feeling overwhelmed in their thoughts about you. So let's see what's happened in the past. We have two of wands, knight of cups, nine of wands, and the page of cups. So I see they can, uh, you know, be very charming at times. But I do see in the beginning, it felt like you did find someone special. That this person is your other half. And they finally get you on every level. It really, They really did pull at your heartstrings here. And I see at the Nine of Wands, Page of Cups, this person was also afraid of their own feelings. Or afraid of how powerful this love truly feels. And with the Two of Wands, they knew that they needed to make a decision here. What I really see is this person struggling on their own path before you came into their life. And the fact that they got into this connection with you 
or had uh, really opened up their heart and they felt like they wanted something completely different and for themselves in their life and I see that they were starting to have this change of mindset and it kind of spooked them in the nine of wands they kind of held back started to detach more and more felt like uh, they couldn't handle their emotions as well with the page of cups uh, felt like they just didn't want to give too, too much. So just dip their toes in a little bit here. So you might have felt like this person uh, from the beginning was being very charming, opening up emotionally and that you were on the same page with them. But they suddenly turned into this uh, detached kind of energy where they weren't really wanting to embrace this connection like they were in the beginning. And this became very disappointing to you. Like almost that they changed their mind in an instant and made you feel rejected in a sense, emotionally. Okay, with the Five of Swords, with the Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, Three of Swords. Yeah, what was at the core here or their intention was that, you know, they were very fearful of getting hurt. But it's like, I will never let anyone hurt me like I've been hurt in the past. So they've been holding on to something that has uh, troubled them for a long time when it's come to emotions or opening up to people when it comes to love. And uh, they felt like the best way to go about this was to kind of keep you at bay. But uh, play this game or the strategy here to not let you leave uh, this connection, but also not give you too much. Uh, tell me this Five of Swords. One more time. Full card. So a lot of the things that they did, Wheel of Fortune, were very risky in this situation. So they were doing things and saying things that they knew could push you to the limit, could make you want to leave them, right? So testing the waters, but at the same time, there's this inner conflict. They didn't want to lose you. So it felt like when they did do this, they started to get really scared because they thought, oh, I'm, I could lose them. They could, I could have pushed it too far. They're ready to leave the situation. And uh, when they saw that you were very loyal and you didn't leave, then they would get more comfortable again. But I see them testing the limits, always trying to uh, push at you in a sense. You feel like uh, there was no safety in this connection emotionally, but that they weren't willing to really see um, how you truly feel and how important this connection is, uh, and as well as uh, hard to find. Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords, Star, and the Emperor card for the challenge. So some of them uh, could pay attention to uh, more of the earthly things, so materialism or um, just working a lot. That's something that they value. Uh, some of you could be in a third party with the Emperor card here. Uh, they could be responsible for others and they just deal with responsibilities over anything else when it comes to love. But I do see you could be dealing with an Aries I've seen an Aquarius as well, Sagittarius, uh, and Gemini. So you might have that in your chart, or you might be dealing with one. But I see that they were trying to keep secrets here, not really reveal how they feel, but also creating a, kind of an environment in this connection where you weren't able to speak up, right? So they were always avoiding tough conversations and not really uh, allowing you to see their truth, but not giving you a chance to speak up or enough uh, time to really catch them, okay, and what they're doing. Uh, with the star card, we have distance again. But it seemed like, uh, you know, this person in the beginning, it just kind of fell through. It's not quite what they, it seemed, right? You really did feel like uh, this person was your match, something truly special. And they, that both of you were really in this for the long haul, but it suddenly changed. It's like they detached more and more. They're very passionate towards you at times. They do feel uh, that your energy is intoxicating to the point where they do want more and more of you here in the King of Wands. Tell with the King of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of them may have worked a lot. That was their main focus here. Uh, and it was just not on this relationship. I just don't see them making it a priority. And this became uh, very hurtful to you because you felt rejected but also like they weren't wanting to take your love anymore they weren't wanting to be in this connection anymore you were kind of feeling that detachment as making a decision here 
So we have the Two of Cups, yeah, hiding their feelings. So they definitely uh, tried to keep their feelings to themselves after this initial period in the beginning because they were fearful. There's something that they told themselves. This person does have like a vow almost, it looks like, with the Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, that uh, they're not going to let themselves get hurt. They promised themselves they would never do that again. And so uh, in meeting you, they felt like they just wanted to, you know, forget about that vow. But all of a sudden, it's like they started to feel uncomfortable because they started to think about that and that they didn't want to uh, go against what they thought they knew their belief system okay so what's about to happen what they're going to do six of cups knight of pentacles and the five of wands so things are changing something is happening here and it's truly meant for you this is something that is going to change your outlook on this connection but also bring things uh to fruition so if this reading is resonating with you in the extended we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys as always, and I'll see you next time.